Kaiai's name. It is so long, I cannot read it, but for our first set, we're going to be having Kaiai versus Spoink Fan again, the Lene versus Orie. Let's see it. All right, going to be a little bit of an Orie advantage here at the round start. So let's see if Kaiai might go for a crazy gamble or just play conservative. Oh, yeah, just down backing at the round start. Ooh. Yeah, so I thought with the Persona, just barely out of range there, trying to look for the 2C, but Kaiai losing that first round start interaction. Very conservative here from Kaiai. No big mashes just yet. Taking the throw and the overhead and the mid. Taking all the sword normals here. There we go. Send the Persona. Grid break throw. Oh, okay. On the last legs here, even grid broken. Kai I breaking out with the BDP only to perish in interaction later. Yeah, when you got one HP, you can you can afford to be a little bit more aggressive, right? You're like, alright, one hit kills either way. Let me send it all but Spunk Gun sending it once again off to another great start with 200 meter still in tow. Yeah, huge life lead. Excellent little tech there by Kai I, potentially an OS cycle going the way of Kai I. There we go, we got CS available, but really didn't make too much off of it. Charges the B Kuga, but nothing found. Sporkman was already at the top of the screen. All this meter on the side of Kai, I had nothing to do. One hit away here. Dashing in, great break off of the dashing C there. And a perfect by Sporkman, and a perfect that only got stopped by a BDP. So, I mean, Sporkman just running this game right now. Yeah, clean first game there. It felt like, you know, especially off of the round starts. Yep, we see it again, right? You know, the poke with the 5A, just so safe, right outside of Lene's effective range. I think Spoinkman is uh, placing these pokes really well. On the defense, I think Kaya is playing almost a little too active for his own good. But now that we finally, I was going to say, finally get something started, but still drops. Sacrificing the corner there is very detrimental, but Kai I have pretty good percentage on winning the first grid war. Yeah. So has been able to use that a bit. Gonna win the cycle once again with that last minute shield on the jump in. Bro, that was a scary whiff too. See, we've seen so many whiff punishes from Spoink Man. Missed the first one, but not gonna miss the second. Back up against the wall here with the Persona Summon. Lots of meter on the side of Kai I now from all that cycle winning. But Spoinkman's super advantage tier pushed to the corner. And Kai Ai breaking out with the parry. Nice. I like the use of the roll to try and escape the corner there after the FF, but still Spoinkman gonna find the hit right after ABIW to make sure the combo is clean and the kill is two. We're on set point. Yeah, that minimum da damage change for infinite worth. You see that fired off a lot in the first round just to keep it clean, but that does give Kai Ai this opportunity with the 200 bar going to spend it right back for this great knockdown and the concentrate is going to keep this grid advantage for Kai Ai. Yeah, the nice thing about the super from Lene, right? This IW gives you a lot of time to charge up the grid cycle, so not only did we find the hit after, we secure it with the combo, taking all the time in the world, and we still have a lot of grid here. Going to need a few uh, old shields to try and bring it back in this point man's favor. Right, escaping the corner with the divine Ooh. thrust there. Not able to spend the cycle there. Kai Ai not going to turn any of that grid into meter. Spending the 100 here. Now pretty low on bar. And with this opener from Spoink Man, this is the opportunity for Spoink Man to take it. There we go. AB looking for a little bit of grid. Get the knockdown over into the corner. Bro needs a couple more good hits. There we go. That's where we there in the one touch territory. Ooh! Back throw on the overhead and going past the DP there. Kai Ai is still in this. A hit away from death, but finding a perfect opportunity there. Ooh. Yeah, still so close to being sent down into the loser's side, but not going to go down without a fight. Finds the first round here. We can tie it back up. We're seeing a lot of the 2K J2B coming out from Kai Ai, right? This little dive kick to try and catch you on these low pokes, but no, no more air movement. We're just going to catch you right on out of the attempt to overhead me. We got CS available. Kuga to bring you all the way over to the corner, too. Oh, and look at the starter for Kai Ai. And the thing is with Spoink Man is expecting Kai Ai to stay passive on the defense. We've seen two standing overhead attempts trying to catch Kai Ai just blocking, holding down back. But every single time, Spoink Man has been mashed on. Not ready for this spunky New York spirit here in Kai Ai. Saying, pulled up with the hoodie, looking for the bodega, looking for the FF, not quite able to kill. Off of the parry follow up, and now it's one touch. Any stray Kuga is enough, but I don't know. Spoink Man, two hits away from trying to seal it up for himself as well. 3D. 
from the corner there. Kai I really feeling no chip kill and Yudi and the parry to finish it off. We got a game, folks, a game apiece between these two. There we go, tying it back up. I'm, I'm gonna be 100%. Those first three rounds were looking real rough for Kai I. It was looking like a 2 0 sweep clean. But ever since we were able to kind of win a few more of these neutral interactions, I think Kai, you know, just took a little bit to adapt to how Spoinkman was putting out these hitboxes and stopping running into them. But either way, Kata on the other side, Terry follow up, not gonna find anything here in game number three. Danger, danger here. Winning the cycle. Now for Spoinkman, this is the worst feeling in Under Knight. Not only are you taking additional damage, Spoinkman has this chain shift to threaten you even harder, but a great opening there off the 2C. Yeah, you pick up off the rebeat as well, just on the off chance it was on block. Spoink Band up against the wall here, taking a good amount of damage with the Warpole. Alright, you got Cycle. Keep pressure safe a little bit. Dude, that backdash goes so far. Oh no! It's so for so I actually thought that was gonna win, but again, step point for Spoink Band. Tough stuff there, Kai. I tried to make that comeback with the life deficit. Yep. Yeah, there we go, just send the aerial sword, nothing found off the double assault, so much grit on the side of Kai, -Ai. we're gonna get Celestial, just cash out immediately with a chain shift, build up some more meter as we go, 200 for a full cash out. We could do it. Ooh, okay. Hold on, you get a little bit of the Vorpal refund. And, you know, finding the Helm Breaker as well, gonna deal quite a bit of damage here. I, I may be looking to optimize meter for the potential final round here, but that's where you open yourself up to being exposed. The comeback potential is here for Spoinkman. The damage in Uni 2 is so high. The prize pool is only getting higher. The $5 from Luke is trying to put some more stakes on this. Jump back into the JA dive kick. Full pickup from Kai, Kai puts us on final round. That was clean to escape the corner. Both players pretty close at meter right now. Kai Ai able to do a little bit more. Gonna get hit 200 a little earlier, but after this combo, right back and forth. Concentrate during. Bail off to kill the grid blocks so Kai Ai can concentrate to win the cycle. Perfect system mastery here for Kai Ai. Oh my god, that Aerosol 2 catches you out. Uh, 3k. I wonder if we could have gotten more, but ending the combo a little bit early to make sure you get that EX Puga pickup. Lead. More than tied up on the life lead right now. Still needs a couple good hits. Rolling on through. No guard button here to catch out that, you know, quote unquote mix. Raw Veil off to strip the cycle there. No more vor Vorple for Kai Ai. Nice little pick up. You're far away from 100 meter, but you do seal out the cycle. Waiting it out with that combo. Finds a tech hit for some grid. The movement there with the dive kick, but the overhead connects counter hit. The meter is there for Spoinkman and is going to clean it up here in our first match of the day. Flies everywhere dashing at you. Yeah. And so if Board is ever trying to like take space with projectile, just like fly a little bit at the mid screen, it's definitely at risk of getting sniped by a flying Mika. Getting sniped off of the round star here. DFA stuck up in the corner. Borderlands finds the first hit. Combo secures the site. My fault? No, we're just letting the double shield rock on wake up. But oh, you are going to get grid broken for it. And you're going to get caught on the scramble too. You're, you're grid sipping, bro. You got to calm down. <laughs> when you catch your bro grid sipping. Oh, no. Cycle going to the side. Just going to spin out of there. The pirouette from Calamity. Yeah, Mika's got a very interesting 3D animation. Her and Seth for Oh, no, but still gets caught up by the full screen hit grab. Tried to make their way back on him, but dash block not going to work out. Still the perfect on the side of board. Okay. Sneaking in there at the round start, finding a throw. Lamity already looking a lot better than they were the first game. There we go. A little micro charge, trying to steal the cycle, but does find a well placed shield. Fighting back out here, 200 meter to try and close this out, but DFA's got the same. Throwing hands non-stop, got a single worm out, and the grid break once again. Calamity cannot keep these cycles after winning them. Guaranteed cycle win for Burrow Ford. Yeah, you have CS available, barely any meter for <laughs> We're just whipping EX Missile right on top, it's the box jump for 100 meter. Trying to get a little too stylish here, Borg's gonna be what happened to three buttons, three buttons, Deadward? We used to be a country. 
We used to be a CBO nation. We used to be on top of killing, but now I was I was genuinely going to say oh CBO just to keep it simple, unlike you know that EX usage with the drill. But yep. I mean, even then, the should be undroppable. Somehow we drop it. I don't know. Sometimes you're on stream and you're like, oh, I got to show up the sauced up combo versus, oh, I'm on stream. I don't want to drop and make sure that I give my opponent an opportunity to fight back. But I was going to say, DFA has no opportunity to fight back and escape the corner. But as I think the thought we escape, we use the CS to get another 200 meter of Borderland still. As the grid doesn't even need to use the CS off of the chomp. That's game number one. A little back and forth there, a little scrambly yeah. as well. I don't know if either player, you know, like while getting up on the setup is like, this is what I expected to happen. Like, yeah. this is what I hope to do. Like, I'm going to drop a CVO combo. I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch to Carmine. Ooh. Actually excited to do that. DFA Calamity switching back. All right, so we, we were going to talk about the Carmine earlier until the Mika switch, maybe not feeling too great about it, you know, even though you have the Mika missile mobility, right? I think Merkava also has a lot of good ways to try and police the airspace that you're trying to be tricky and approach with. So just going for someone who maybe has a little bit less mobility behind it, but once you get that first hit into the knockdown, you know, you have a nigh inescapable offense situation. Oh yeah, Carmine can reset pressure in so many instances. This character is super, super plus, with the only thing holding him back being the amount of life he has to spend. Yep. So definitely you can really keep your offense going, but the challenge is is how you mix in the standard strike throw in addition to just the pressing with your special moves, because you will take a lot of damage trying to just plus bring people out. You are going to take a lot of damage off of this assault as well. They're pushing you up against the corner. Borderlands builds the full 200 on that last hit. So immediately cashing out into the IW says, all right, I get it. I gave you the opportunity to strike back before, and I'm going to take the damage where I can, the throw, to put Borderlands on set. Borderlands still looking very confident here. And I like the stabilization with the AD Ender there. Just keep it super consistent. Make sure you get your knockdown. Yeah, the Steer Ender is really nice, right? Especially when, even if you don't have the 200 for the IW, sometimes you just want to stabilize the combo and get the Ender where you can get the fuzzy. You can as well off of the charge jump in 200 meter for DFA. I think, yeah, we're going to be a little bit greedy here and try and go. All right, never mind, my fault. <laughs> no, we're killing. I also it's a killing game. Guaranteed gets the round win here. You know, making sure that you get this chance to play this final round, potentially your winner's life here for Calamity. And already off to the races, looking fantastic in this round three. Base, oh, punish with the bomb. Calamity looking fantastic. It's like I'm looking at Defi all over again. Blood Prison set the double. Charge in the middle of the combo as well. You already have grit secured, but just in case, you know, we've just seen Borderlands not be afraid to try and swing the cycle with the shields. Oh no, caught again with the fuzzy. Your available does not even need to spend it. This Carmine pick looking fantastic for Calamity right now. I just realized both of them kind of have the ketchup and mustard skins. Like, one of them is not ketchup and the other is mustard. They are both, right? They are both rocking with the glizzies here for game number three, fighting for their lives. And it seems like DFA feeling a lot more comfortable on the Carmine, like you said, right? Once we're able to get that first knockdown, clean on the offense, and Borderlands feeling a little bit more scrambly when trying to wake up. Yeah, and also, you know, forced to block in ways that they did not really have to in yeah. against Mika. You know, Carmine able to force the issue so much, make you block for so long, open you up with the overhead, break, break your grid, can't even shield right now. There you go. We blocked the second charge overhead, though, but still caught trying to escape the corner once again. DFA. Okay, not hurting for the lack of mobility. Swapping over from the Mika says, no, I'm just going to box you in the corner. Box you in the blood prison once again. Do we go for another fuzzy? No, we just run up with the wheels on top. You can barely even see the charge. And DFA looking for this clean reverse sweep. Yeah, that increase in the smoke screen there. Just running this, you know, kind of simple Carmine game plan very, very well. Just gets that neutral hit, take you to the corner, spend the EX, and run it from there. Borderlands trying to do it on their own here, using their EX to run the mix in the corner. So the kids with the gold throw, no tech. That's 10 push-outs, but we're just going to jump right on out of the corner. Take off the mine, back throw. 
the corner, could try and move the bomb with FF. We see it there, but Borderlands moving past the explosion, able to get in. Threatening a kill on this next pixel. Had the CS available, just scoopy right out of the sky. 75, a little bit of mail-in rebate off of the Vorpal too. Backdash from Merkava, not good enough. Now blocking in the corner. This is where disasters happen against Carmine. That's looking a lot better from Borderlands. Not seeing these errant presses when it's not your turn. And finally, off of the redash, catches DFA. Final round. Yeah, that was kind of the perfect mash there. Was able to low profile the wheel going under that projectile. Able to contest Calamity where they probably thought they were safe. Had a nice projectile keeping the space there. But Borderlands just going right under it. So run up. TRM. There we go. Yeah, we're just getting free shields off of the fireballs here because Borderlands really isn't getting too much off of it. Scared to try and approach, especially when Carmine is 200 meter behind it, right? You know, you call it the Blood Rain, the Blood Prison on your way over, so just giving a lot of free grid here for DFA. And also giving up the space right now. Borderlands getting slowly walked to the corner is going to get bailed out there as Calamity corners themselves, but the Ooh. B follow up going to catch. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a clean pickup, but not going to follow all the way through. The counters, though, send out the 6B. <laughs> Takes the skies, but that's exactly where you want to be with a dive kick. 200 meter for Borderlands, still not going to be able to kill, but I wonder if we spend the IW just to guarantee the damage. Going for mix okay. instead for 100 bar. Yep. Tadpole's oh. waiting up the VO. Got to finish your food here. CVO, not like last time. Going to keep okay. it simple. Throw Ooh. the hands into the infinite worth. Finish it off. Borderlands going to finish it 2 one. in the Kuan train. Okay. Lots of players have been swapping over to this character. I know Masomo was one of the biggest players at the start, but at this point, it's hard to count just how many top Kuans there are. Yeah, I'm thinking like Mosin. Who else we got? Masoma. Uh, Defi has a Kuan as well. And now apparently Shaylee is too. I think a lot of set players not feeling too great uh, about his strength, you know, relative to the rest of the UD2 cast. Definitely a lot of work as well. So, hey, try out the Kuan, and it seems like it's working up against this wall. Definitely has a lot to offer with this character. The ADP into disc that we just saw there as an ender is also fantastic just to throw out in neutral. Threaten with that super, super flat, fast A flash kick. An invalid combo, but it still counts, and it's still going to kill for Shaylee. Dude, killing off the red beat feels so bad, right? You're like, oh, I could have escaped this, and now I'm dead. Spend the meter for it as well. Wait, wait Hilda had to spend what? meter to trade with round start needle. That's terrible. Yeah, you know, needle just one of those, uh, what is the word? What's the SAT vocab? Pernicious round start <laughs> options, right? It feels like you really have to like lab around it because sometimes it'll go through your projectile or it'll clash with your metered option. And you have to be ready to react to that clash or, you know, how you're going to make the most of it. But once again, stuck up against the wall, Shaylee floating through. Mix here. Can't quite kill. We'll go for one final mix off the EX. Says Faith the guard thrust. Devious. You know Hilda players are mashing that. And Shaylee, you know, plenty of matchup experience has played this game so long. On the ball with that. Yeah, right. You know, you see Hilda in the corner with some meter on her. You're like, okay. I know you're looking for VO. If it's guard thrust, I cover the same thing. I just got to run up and block as soon as you're looking for your reversal options. So, quick first game one over to Shaylee. We saw a couple openings for I'm So Wash, but dropping the hit when they finally got it. So, let's see if we can tighten it up for game number two. Hilda, definitely a character that can get started. Known for the unreactable 50-50s as her main win condition. But I'm so Wash just has been kind of struggling to find an opening here against Shaylee. Just controlling the mid-range even better than Hilda can. Man, I have never seen Hilda's role, actually. I did not know she balls up like that, but... Right, balled up on the block, caught out with the overhead. No confirm from Shaylee, just keeping the stagger pressure on. Killer CS. Hilda rocking that Samus roll. Go in morph ball mode, and again, Shaylee threatening the perfect, but a good green shield to push Shaylee out a little bit. Create that space to connect. Roomba, Oki, here we come, the re-stand. Yeah, Roomba is a, you know, very powerful Oki tool coming out from Hilda, right? Even in situations where, you know, you trade a lot of times trading in Hilda's favor, so I wonder 
One more hit for both of these players, right? So I think I'm so Wash is feeling pretty comfortable. Spending the meter to try and break the pack, but no, the EX from Shaylee not gonna find the mark. Even with the CS and 200 meter in tow, I'm so Wash should be able to close it out. Recovering just a little too fast there. I'm so Wash completely in control there with the system mechanics. Getting Celestial is so important for Hilda. Her trait is already um, refunding a little bit of meter during Warple. But when you add that into the free 25% refund that you get in Uni 2, she can really just spam specials in Warple. Yeah, once she has like enough capital, she is she's moving. I'll tell you what, she is efficient on the meter, but letting the B flash kick rock. Shaylee trying to hold on with barely any HP in tow. 200 meter to your name and looking for the cycle. Does not catch the approach. Didn't dash up that far enough, but this time Shaylee going all the way downtown. Full disrespect on the projectile there was going to start raining down, but Shaylee just taking the space, pretending like he still has Seth movement speed, able to get past him. Set the disc. Oh, it's gonna double back dash out here mid screen. No fear. I'm so washed. Okay, ties it up. Yeah. Excellent little punish there on the needle. In answer to that, again, super pernicious option. <laughs> and we're back in it. I'm so washed, you know, showing kind of the Hilda strength. I feel like we haven't seen even the 50 50 is being used that often it's just been leveraging this resource kind of playing like people familiar with like uh trading card games like playing that ramp play style it's just you out resource them and that's how you win yeah you're kind of playing for tempo right you're just trying to stay one step ahead of them whether it's the resources or the hp lead making shaley uh you know commit to the approach but approach definitely working out here as we push i'm so lost once again to the corner i wonder if we're gonna see a repeat of that game number one no instead we let the 3d rock we'll get more fall roll out autobots the roomba technology is on the side of i'm so lost 6b connecting Bro, i can't believe uh shaley was ready for the throw tech there is able to swing a lot of grid off of it as well. Double overhead. This is so tough. And we keep talking about the resource game, about how I'm So Wash is playing it so well, because Hilda just struggles so much here. She's built for the long range, but Kuan can just contest it better. Yeah, especially as you're using a lot of this meter on the green shields, right? We're just barely outside of that 100%. Still able to escape, right? But it's definitely scary when, you know, trying to swing the grid back into your favor takes away your reversal option from the meter that it uh, consumes. To get in a little bit, I'm so Wash gonna lose this cycle. Once again, Hilda really likes cycles, so this is an unfortunate loss, but does like this opening. Oh, TP right on through, Shaylee, on set point. Spinning the linchpin, but it's not going to find its mark. Yeah, really leveraging that usage there. Any sort of gap that I'm so washed leaves in pressure is an opportunity for Shaylee to contest with that chain shift, with that EX. I'm so, wa so washed finally at advantage here. Yeah, these charge 5Cs really have not been making their mark on Shaylee. Ready for it every single time. No pick up off the slide. Yeah, CSP flash kick. There we go. <laughs> tried to air stall a little bit there to try to get out of the range, but B flash is just too big. Infinite worth available. Will we try and finish here? Shaylee going for it. Eat it clean. There we go. 2 1 for Shaylee there. That second game, I'm so washed. Really had some wind back into their sails, but Shaylee says no, no, no. Sure a lot of the Uni 2 community does. A lot of good ways to just keep you locked down in the mid range. And when he finally makes his way in, the float is definitely scary. It's easy to call it reactable, but with so many <laughs> options on the brain, it is, it's hard to look for every single thing. Yeah, but yeah, that's the thing is which part are you reacting to? Double overhead, empty flow. Row always being an option while landing. Just so much can be layered in here for this offense. And the C knockdown is so vicious. Actually, Defi choosing to not go for it despite having the meter available. Yeah, just holding on to it a little bit. Knows he's going to lose the cycle as well. So just float in for the double overhead. It's Celestial for Spoink. <laughs> AFK just sending out the bubble here, but guard thrust. Bring us all the way back over to the corner for Spoink Man. This is a dangerous situation. I mean, you you have to forgive yourself for getting hit by that overhead. Basically unseeable. Yeah. 
It's it's spooky, I'll tell you what. Okay, against the wall here, Spoink Man trying to seal out the round. You have the meter advantage as well. Then he still has that meterless reversal to try and escape. Big cycle win here. Celestial just going for the meter instead. Knows that they're a hit away from death. Want to make sure they play that resource game. Unless, you know, we're, we're aiming to take this round. Guard thrust. Bend another 100. Oh, okay. 3D right on through to not only get the grid. Seals out the cycle for you when you are already ahead. And it also gives you that forward movement to try and look for the punish on the approach too. That was smart. The game has been out for a while, and even then, I feel like Creeping Edge, that 3D, that roll, is something that we are still discovering new usage for here. Defi showing an excellent one there, while well, Spoinkman showing one from the anti kuan dock, going for round start 3D. Not going to work out there. Defi taking more passive round start. I know Mo Sins posted the anti kuan dock. You think you have some technology, but of course Defi is on the counter to the counter. Layer 3 <laughs> taken to the skies here. Swipes on through after the EX pillar. It's a clean game one. Yeah, so powerful on round start that like half of the dock is just explaining how to beat Needle and 6-6-B yeah. six, six on round start. Like, and showing it off there, Defi, you know, winning round start by doing nothing because Spoinkman just, you know, trying to going for that hard read with the 3D. Yeah, when you know your opponent is scared with the strong tools that you have, it gives you a lot more flexibility to either just walk back and assess what they're trying to do and look for the whip punish, like we're seeing right now, pull up with the 2C, a strong starter to confirm into the side swap too. Corner swap there. Defi, even with all those hits, unable to confirm cycle. Spoinkman gonna take that first, but the life lead is gonna be vicious here. That cycle may not matter. Flash kick your way back out to the mid-screen, but Spoinkman trying to bring you back up against the wall. About to have 200 meter. CS still available, but we're early on into the cycle as well. Probably gonna spend it early. Put on strong, draw CS. And get away from me, but still not able to escape the corner, even with the 100 bar tracking. That persona knows where you are, knows when you're sleeping, knows when you're awake. Is that Santa Claus? No, it's the persona. Bro, if Santa Claus sent an air-to-ground missile down my chimney, <laughs> I'd be a little upset. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm a pretty good dude. I think I'm a pretty nice fella, but that is, uh, that's worse than cold. But, I'm gonna get counter hit by the pillar here on the approach. Caught right out of the thrust, and again, another counter hit coming out from Daffy, just bringing us all the way over to the corner. Fantastic here, spend the EX. I like the delay tech there, trying to mess up any setup that Daffy may be going for. There he goes. This, this is scary, right? One touch. We're in faking the low a few times, but the cycle going the side of Spoinkman. Folks, we remind you that TNS is played on Netplay. All standing overheads are forgiven. <laughs> now All 6B attempts are understandable, yeah. CEO is available. He's Dracula on the flow. He's Nosferatu <laughs> on the foresight. You saw the 200 meter. You were like, all right, we are cashing out. And Spoinkman ties it up. Excellent stuff there. Great routing. You know, aware of the resources. Knows the line is available to kill there and make sure to take it. Does not let get let Defi get a second chance. Yeah, holding on strong, Spoinkman really wants to make it to this Wieners Finals, but I'm sure Deppy feeling the exact same way. Gonna catch out the FF attempt, the somersault to the skies, even on Whiff for the Needle, right? You have the tracking killer follow-up. Be not only missing out on the damage there, but also getting punished because of that drop. One of the worst feelings in fighting games. Deppy now forced to endure that with all the other pressure that comes in playing at TNS. Here we go, TP for all the corner carry in the world. I don't know if there's a way for you to try and steal back cycle without risking a, uh, a throw tech and then giving Spoinkman Celestial, right? So Deffy has the life lead, just says, all right, I'll give you the CS, but I'm just going to back up here, catch you out with the spacing trap. Still not able to kill off C-Disc, but now it's the range. Thrust out. Oh, we've seen that a lot from Spoinkman against that disc setup. You know, trying to never hold that, just spend the grid thrust if you have it available. We'll see if Deffy starts baiting that as the set goes on. 
Let's see the top of the dome. Trying to be on maybe a second stand shield. Oh no! Thought that they were out of range for B flash kick there. Did not even try to go for it. Ooh. Okay, jump on through. Run up for the 6B while we have the visual noise. But Deppy, too smart for that one. Not going to catch you out with these gimmicks. Ooh. Back off the disc, looking to try and bring the cycle back, but it doesn't matter when you have that needle to kill. Set point, Deppy. You know, able to do so much there. Spoink Band looking for the Aurier Classic winning cycle and trying to get him with Divine Thrust, but just Deffy able to put up so many stop signs with this character. Needle taking so much space. Yeah, I like the jump back shield. A lot of times we've been caught out of that, uh, you know, air disengage. Oh, but instead, you're just going to get pulled right back into the corner once again. Pick up with the pillar. This is feeling hopeless right now for Spoink Man. One more guess available. And Garth Thrust is also an option here. We'll see if Deffy tries to bait it. Yes! We're on the same page here as to the options that we've shown. Deffy playing passive now. Bail off will be the option. All right, we got Dio available. How are we going to use it? Just holding on strong to the defense. Yeah, transfer state. Makes it so that that meter that normally would go to your bar extends the V. Oh, but Deffy extending the combo 100 meter to your name doesn't even need it. It's 2-1 to move on to winner's finals. Great little needle layer to finish it off. Doing so much setting up those stop signs, making sure that Spoink can't get. Yeah, just shot. Full screen. I don't know if you can boot the game quite as fast, but heading into a game number one immediately, setting out the needle. Borderlands just saying, nope, let me play back. Just going to go for the walk back. A safe option at the round start here just to see what Shaylee's running. Borderlands on control with these stop signs, putting out all these options to force Shaylee to kind of back up, put himself in the corner. But with this cycle win, now moving around, Shaylee is in complete control. There we go, swipe on through. Both of, you know, both of these players playing it pretty slow, right? Even when Shaylee is able to get, you know, a straight hit off the needle, just says, okay, I'm good, I'm chilling. AB Ender to bring you over to the corner. And we did see an option there for Borderlands to deal with it, going over it with that kind of like jumping overhead, able to kind of crush the projectile, get over it. Ooh. Oh, we just crossed on over, but on the other side, no disc to keep it meaty. Borderlands finds the opportunity to a bar out. There. Wake up chain shift available. No A flash kick, no B flash kick, but the cycle win goes to Borderlands. AFK, BFK, none required. We just float in your face with the empty low. Caught out here for round number one. Oh, 3C, the ant here hitting mid. Borderlands not even flying, not even assaulting, but it connects regardless. Shaley with a great mash. Ooh, we tried to go for the gold throw off the disc, but Borderlands, no push-ups today. Gotta stay in the game. Gotta stay 200 meter and CS to your name. But how are we going to use it to open up Shaley? That's an interesting Yomi there with that chain shift. So we saw Shaley knows how to shield the last hit of that Merkava move. Borderlands yep. going for the early CS there to try and bait the shield, get the grid break, but Shaley not giving it that time. But going into the infinite worth, you're going to attack on a ton of damage for Borderlands. Ooh. Oh, red, under, red miss. Yeah, the challenge there. It's close on the grid cycle right now, but especially off the hit. Shaylee it out. has CS available. 200 meter as well to try and close this out. The Borderlands, I don't think you can kill. You get the corner situation and you're in throw range. Speaking of the throw, mash to do as much damage as possible. Still 1 HP. Hope it just needs to wait to win the cycle. Does get it here. Oh no! Creeping Edge not connecting with anything. Won't get that invul at the end and getting hit. But the scramble! Dude, Shaylee was the boy who lived, and then he was the boy who couldn't close it out, but it's all good. You know, you live with the 1 HP as long as you could. Built up a little meter for it as well, so have lots of meter on both sides here. Heading into round number three. Clean on the grid cycle as well. Borderlands trying to play a little bit aggressive, but yep, knows you're looking for the throw to swing the cycle. It gave Shaylee even more grid. Now he has Celestial. Yeah, able to get a ton of bar off of that. Like we were talking before, a little bit too predictable there. Throw is the only thing that could swing the grid cycle. So Shaylee super ready to tech it and actually getting Celestial because of that. There we go, set the tadpoles, little OTG action. In Uni 3, they'll be frogs. They'll finally grow up. They'll grow up, yeah. That's the time skip arm. Oh my god, we're just skipping right on over with the crossover. 
but no confirm, just whipping the slide right in front of Borderlands' face. In the corner here, still time to feed Needle. Slide through once again, takes the skies, but no punish from Borderlands. Ho ho! B flash beating the assault. Down to last hit situation potentially for both players. Danger, danger throw. One final mix here for Shaylee. Ooh, yeah, we saw the CS on the disc to try and stay safe, but the delay mash from Borderlands takes the first game. Edward, I felt like that was the whole set. Independently, or this could be like a button check. Let's let's just see, just in case. Or are we just yeah, very scared? We're very scared. We're yeah, very we're, scared. We're we have a lot of full range opportunities to, you know, stick out a hitbox here. So I understand the, the passivity to head into game number two. Also, both of both of our players kind of getting cooled off here after that, you know, kind of connection test check. Both kind of feeling, you know, that this is kind of like a first to one at this point. Exactly. Fighting for your life. Jumps back into the dive kick with a counter hit too. Borderlands playing a little, a little loosey goosey with said life, right? But I mean, <laughs> you have celestial, you have some meter as well. No, but you're just gonna use it to hold on to the cycle and get a second one as well, right? Sometimes we see players who are like, "Oh, I have celestial, now I can let my meter rock." But Borderlands playing a little bit slower and just using it to secure cycle. Now we have the hit back up against the wall, 200 meter for the IW. Cash out there. Yes, I'd love to talk about how celestial can be used and maintained, but that's between matches, folks because people are dying right now. Shaylee now a round away from being sent to losers. Grilling game, you simply got to bring yourself back. You have 200 meter to try and bring this round number two back, but Merlin's building up meter on their side as well, just floating on through, empty 2C. A little extra delay in the skies, right? Really making you think, all right, let me stand block. We're trying to bait out something. So a little ender here getting the increase on the wheel for that excellent Oki. Gonna get pushed out there by the green shield. Borderlands kind of creating that space with that active defense. There we go. Flow with the pillar. No challenge after from Borderlands. Scared to try and mash out here. That's your fastest option on that close range chain shift. Throw is universally four frames, and no one has a button faster than that. Is always your fastest press. Yep. This guy's, you know, we see a lot of rising JA. We see a lot of assault on in, trying to get this grid back, but I don't know. You get one or two shields. One of, you know, one of the weaknesses on some of those really strong tools from Kuan, right? You have Needle, you have Pillar, but those are opportunities to shield and really put the cycle back into your favor. We've seen a couple Celestials, we've seen even more cycles. One for Borderlands, and now we're tied up on the HP. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, folks. First game was so far away, but this is Shaylee's winner's life here. Going for that final mix, but now things become a lot scarier with Warple on the side of Borderlands. Cutting on through, looking for the rebeats. Yeah, believed in the hit, but AB right in front of your face. Shaylee not going to try and go for the throw punish. Sometimes it's spaced out, so you know, you're not sure if you're actually just going to whip throw in front of their face. Scared to try and take your turn. Scared to fly in, even with the veil off. Not going to save no! you. No! Drop from Shaylee, though. But you're not going to die. One hit away. Look at the time. Seven seconds. Chip available for Kuan. Two, one, tried to swing on through, desperate to get something started. I wonder if that was misinput on Needle, but either way, flying away with it. Borderlands takes the 2-0. Coming out this time, just sticking it with the Carmine from game one. Dude, we mentioned Butter as an analogy, and now the chat is going crazy for it. That's what happened with the Tiramisu, too. I feel like these food <laughs> analogies are really baiting out the chat. I mean, hey, you can have a nice meal as we're watching loser side top eight, but we're going to eat that grid right now. Grid broken off of the shield for DFA Calamity. Up there, get that little bit of grid advantage, that concentrate, pulling you closer to the Celestial, or getting you a little bit more meter when you pop that Vorpal, but opened up here. This Carmine Champion just does a little bit too much damage. Yeah, I wonder what we got opened up by there. It seemed like the hit was a little bit before the assault, so maybe you tried to jump out a little bit too early on the wheel. I'm not too sure. By the way, blue reverberation down to one hit. Roll into B flash kick there. Very bold, but escaping the corner against Carmine is so important. Yeah, okay. that's life. He's laughing in the round ender. He's like, damn, I'm good. Even on the meter here, but Blue Reverberation fighting back. 200 meter in tow. Not going to spend it on the IW. Just send the disc for the hard knockdown. 
to actively shield here. Get that Ooh. cycle there, but the anti are off. Excellent stuff there. Calamity gonna get the side swap as well. There we go. Double bomb, charge up. I don't think we get Celestial off of it. Oh, yeah, especially not when no charge actually came through, but still a CS available. Combo lasts long enough to secure the next cycle. Winning, you know, don't even have to pop it. You already have 200 bar, like might as well hold on to it. Yep. Here we go, float on through. And get caught with the overhead with a little low, a little leggy here from Blue Reverberation, trying to tie it up on the rounds. Oh, big drop there in the mash from Calamity will take game one. Disaster. All you had to do was find one way to escape. You still had the round up, so being a little bit more aggressive, I understand. DFA takes the first game. TBR, if you don't start gapping, I'm going to put you in timeout. I don't know if timeout <laughs> is the you know biggest of their worries right now. We were pretty far away from it as far as the timer goes, and now your time may be running out here as we head into game number two. DFA, can we seal it out? Yeah. Yeah, reverberator gotta be feeling bad there had such great positioning had the cycle pushed into the corner but that huge drop is gonna put them in the grave you gotta put that like behind him i like the ab just to get yourself some uh consistent oki over in the mid screen you're like all right this is a far hit a little bit awkward let me just get some grit off of it and we're clean on the cycle as well it's gonna be hard to try and fight it back for the next one that smart steer ender that AB is super yeah. nice for just keeping consistent and making sure you get the knockdown. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I stand blocked. I thought it was going to be fuzzy. I also got opened up by the throw. TBR. Their last ropes right now. One round away from being knocked out. Oh, but those floats giving so much grin now. Calamity threatening Celestial. Just needs to move forward a little bit. But great stop signs here from Reverb. Controlling with the needles. But... Gonna get opened up by the shield. Yeah, we found the stand shield on second overhead as well. Floating on through, but you're just getting right into the position that DFA wants you. Stuck up against the wall. We have Celestial for extra damage. I don't know if you have a round here that's gonna kill, but it definitely gets for game after this, right? Is that the blood prison? No! The X wheel. Wait. Wait. How many ball. supers is this? Wait. Was that five? And it oh, still didn't oh. kill. I'm telling you, bro, every time I see a CBO, it doesn't kill, but it's all good. We got the wheel right behind for DFA to move on to losers quarters. Guys, I I saw like five EX flashes. They like, can't press because they'll get hit by the projectile. And they can't jump because now this thing is just a master of the air. Has an air and block relief. Gets grid broken at the round start here. Looking bad for bold struck. But we'll see the redemption. I like that, as we said, Master of the Air, we got Assault Grid broken on the side of Voltstruck, so not too great. Trying to look for something off of the AB, like you get the one hit confirmed, but good. I'm told Melody basically still at full HP. Oh, yeah, nice issue. air spell there. The, the real Master of the Skies, Untold Melody. Oh, yeah, the winds of favor definitely not blowing in uh, Boltstruck's favor right now. Still doesn't even need to spend the meter. Like, oh, this move is is unmesswithable. I'm good. I'm chilling. Then I get counter hit for it. I'm like, all right, you got it. But we got some gains once again. Headed right back into it. Boltstruck trying to make the approach, but TP brings Melody right back out to the mid screen. Cycle win being immediately spent here by Melody. Yep. Ooh. There you go. Finds a swipe. Counter hit two B. Oh, big starter here. Counter hit 2B. It's really good. Knockdown. And yes, that spacing we were talking about before. Bolt struck making it so the projectile is just barely out of range. Making so if you press a button, you're getting counter hit. Yeah, the lingering hurt box. EX disc. Oh, and we have the strike throw off the boomerang disc as well. I see people in the chat being like, hmm, I'm not familiar with this not as a champion, but she's got the two hits on the disc. So yeah, you could run up to it. You could do ADP to try and catch a mash and then combo afterwards with the return. There's a lot to try and worry about. But worrying about where you're landing after that 3D melody, just waiting for the roll. Going for the Roomba four damage here. No setup, but we'll find the overhead on the 50-50. Help! All right, set the Roomba to VO2. Wait, wait, it just keeps on going, IWEX? 
Yo, that, that first round advantage is a little too powerful. Watching the Evangelion opening and Boltstruck will perish. First game going to Melody. Cool Angels thesis moment. Cool IOX letting you see your death right before your eyes. I was like, oh, oh man, CVO into the super. That's that's going to be scaled. And then I was like, wait, there was no CVO. It was with VO right into the super. No scaling to have to worry about there. So Untold Melody seals out the first game clean. Yep. Very clean there. You know, only having to play one round in such a high damage game is a huge advantage here. But I say that as if Untold Melody did not win the first round of the game that was played. So, you know, kind of, you get your just rule. Exactly. You get what you worked for. Speaking of working to run up all the way full screen, gets the back throw, but still just going to maneuver right around the blue local goal. Yeah, we're seeing that Nanase air stall until finally coming down with that descending button there, that JB. There we go, TK Fireball. Oh, we're going to mash right on after. Melody runs the Abari back out. That's good back. Using that negative edge projectile. Again, that's projectile invul doing yep. so much, covering so much distance for me. Oh, there you go. I like the jump back there off of the EX disc. So, you know, just making sure you're avoiding the follow up entirely. Wolf Truck is still able to follow up and catch you out, but I like representing that off. Oh, no. Big starter here. Trying to make this last just burn some of that veil off time. Oh, whoa! Instant confirm it in the infinite worth of a ton of damage here. Yep. Wall 200 meter for Bold Struck, but you're rapidly losing health here up against this corner. Tries to run up past the gloom. Lock on the overhead there. Steal the corner with the EX. Okay, nice little shimmy attempt with the backdash. Finds the stand shield on the jump in. Bold Struck ties it up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, if you ever see someone shield a jump in, that is almost always a guaranteed punish. Kind yep. of one of the best anti-airs this game has to offer. So that is one of those opportunities where if you have a good read that they're coming down with a button, coming down with a jump in button, you just take that guaranteed punish with the shield. Yeah, there are certain jump ins where like they are almost unironically plus a million. So even if you find the shield after it, like you're still good. But for the most part, right, you shield the jump in it's your opportunity to try and punish. Oh, there we go. Speaking of another stand shield coming out from Bolstrap. And those opportunities, Untold Melody, a little bit too predictable coming in. Maybe has to start mixing in some empty jump into either throw or throw. Now, Bolstruck in a big life lead here. Uh, like these guys, Orb on down. Charge the grid, but gets caught out on the run up. Big counter hits. To be able to kill for Bolstruck here when you got 100 behind it. Off the ADP, but CDP is not enough. And the throw is teched at almost the very last frame there. Untold Melody getting it started. <gasps> Swipe on through with the punish. 2B puts Boltstruck on set point. Oh, yeah, shielded there, but like you said, plus a million. Even that was not punishable. <laughs> Yeah, I like the use of the air stall there. You know, that immediate jump in would have gotten punished if we found the stand shield initially from Untold Melody. But like you were saying, right, that air stall into the low jump in is able to keep us safe. Still gets opened up here, though. Yeah, but Bullstruck can use the cycle. Going to use it to get even closer to Melody, but that trade is going to push us back to center screen. Yep, that's exactly where Melody wants us. I say as we run right across the screen, you were saying it before the set started, right? You got big normals, you got incredible mobility. You can dash across the screen in under a second here. Now you're locked down with the fireball taken from the skies. Oh, air to air, really forcing the issue with that EX projectile. We're going to take a grip here. Can we find the corner swap from Untold Melody? Simply baiting the DP, taking this huge damage. Infinite worth available. All the way over on the other side of the screen. That DP is not going to do you any good. Trying to catch you out with the back pin. Nothing found. Baits out the veal with the Roomba 2. Melody ties it up. Final game, final round.
Man, on the loser side as well, this is your tournament life on the line. Oh, Veil off! There we go, goes for the back spike. And finding the standing overhead there, that's mixed, folks. See, gradually pushing you over to the corner, finally finds it with the frame trap here. Just really able to secure the cycle, ends the combo a little bit early, smart for Melody. That button is so unmessable with, and Untold Melody has counter poked it twice. The, you shouldn't be able to win punish that. Oh my god, and the AB to keep the combo clean right from the top rope. Melody seals it out 2-1 to move on to losers quarterfinals against Shaylee. And so Lair's celebrating with us with that tier one, the big 18 on stream with Amika. We're like, okay, we're we're locked in with the Blood King himself. Here we go. User side Spoink Man off to the races on round start, taking us already to the corner. Calamity, you know, no invincible options available until we get 100 bar. And after that, with Green Shield using 10 bar, already farther away from it. Cycle going the side of Spoink Man. Yeah, we got CS behind it as well. Oh, yeah. Immediately after the 6B, you have some extra meter in the tank. Might as well optimize. Now going into round number two, a clean start and with 200 meter to try and seal it out. Looking like that Aurier did against Kai Ai right now. Way off to the races here at the start. Oh, but a baited DP. Calamity's got to take this leverage. Yeah, we were talking too much spank. Too much smack. DFA Calamity was like, all right, I'm trying to get some gas on the commentator's side too. Especially with two bombs in tow. So clean on the cycle. CS, we're so fine with the back dash shimmy off the bombs too. Spank's coming in. Fuzzy block. Another persona Spoil. fighting to open here. The starter. Yeah, there we go. There we go to the corner. Healthy on the grid. He's trying to swing it a little bit with the 3D, but gotta be careful, right? You have Thrust CS to challenge that space where you thought you escaped. Spoinkman dropping the game-winning combo there. Danger, danger here. Feeling bad, but... Ooh. Spoink! All good. EX Carmine is activated. Huge plus frames and the overhead. Whew. Finally getting to breathe a sigh of relief for Spoinkman. They're dropping the game-winning combo twice. Yeah, EX Carmine being at 1 HP and not having to worry about the cost of their blood normals, pretty good, but it does still mean, you know, against the character who is so scary at any mid-range, you know, you have to worry about thrust, you have to worry about the FF taken from the skies as well. You know, it's it's still scary as EX Carmine, I gotta say. So game number one over to Spoink Man. And we're, huh? We had the Yuzu the whole time? Okay, yeah, Calamity. Good. We're seeing all the characters. Mika. We've seen the Carmine, and now we're going to be seeing the Yuzu, the first one we've seen all evening. I don't know. Are we warmed up on it? Yuzu can definitely be a, a more technical pick as well. You know, so let's see what DFA's got heading into game number two. Starting us off the mid finer, controlling the space. But Yuzu does kind of give away grid for free. Let's see the execution. Kava got this. All right. Already warming up pretty well to the Yuzu. The Snoozeriha. Cow, don't you play Yuzu? I guess that's why you can play it, right? But, all right. TP dashes right yourself into the corner. Oh, no. But Spike Man finds the hit. And Deathwing finds the $50 for the Macharino. Thank you so much. Helping our players out. Thank you a ton, Deathwing. The uh, Macharino all goes to the pot for our players here. Ooh. Six being your way. Trying to make your way into that top three cut. Man. Comes up for the throw, it's killed. This standing overhead grid break has been brought to you by Deathwing. <laughs> this Aurier player still does standing overhead like they used to in the 9. I forget the meme. Either way, B, I'm oh, not going to find anything for DFA. The extra damage isn't going to help you if you can't land that first hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, but it ran out just before you could land an IW. Oh. That teleport behind uh, stance follow-up is one of those yep. things where Yuzu players are like, oh, it's so reactively, you just like mash everything. It's like, okay, sure. Sure, so you do it in match while you're on stream, fighting for your tournament life. I dare you, but <laughs> okay, gonna lock in right now, tying up the HP lead. Yeah. 
have this much meter on Spikeman's side. A good hit could finish us off here. Good block on the cross up. Walking on the side of Clans. It's available. This is scary. You know you're looking for the thrust. Oh! Really. And the air missile with TPCS. Nothing personnel kid. Oh, but we did. No, we dropped a couple twice. Yes. The whip punish on five B. Like, incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was a really smart TPCS. Just looking for the super flash there. Oh, and immediately going to the IW. No more drops here. Knocked down there, taking the damage with the infinite worth, but throw whiff is not plus counter hit here. Calamity gonna take the grip of damage as well as being put in a dangerous position. Here we go. How many times will Spoikman overhead enough to win? Chat is right. What's good, Cookie? Long time no see. Throw you into the corner once again. CS available. Just waiting it out, not trying to whiff anything in particular to lose the next cycle, but off of the hit. DFA. Yes, available. Engaging the Devil Trigger, teleports behind you, Cycle and Meter available, final hit here. Oh, oh. Big Whiffs on both sides, oh. 100! Oh, you thought Thrust would reach? No, we had the Basso to keep you right in your... Oh. Okay, getting in, and the final overhead to take it there from Spoinkman. Folks, this 90... Seven-year-old Aurier player still overheads the old-fashioned way, much space contested. Hilda is a character who's supposed to be able to play at the mid-range, but Needle just boxes her out completely, takes away her niche, kind of forces her to play the offense with the meter gain with the Roomba. Right, number one, jump back, dive kick, there we go. Melody tries to escape the corner, and indeed, she does, finds the side swap as well. Standing overhead. Tossed up, take him down. He's that negative edge input. Big grid swing off of the throw tech. So we're able to see out the cycle for Shaylee. Oh, bold BDP there. A little bit slow, but very high range is the kind of trade-off you make for that reversal. Shaylee yeah, we got the stand shield on the CP, or TP rather. Not able to get a punish quite yet off of it. Shields the cycle. Feeling good to win the cycle there, but feeling bad to get caught like that. Shaylee now had a big life deficit. Five right. A stagger, run up for the throw. Trying to even out this health lead right now. 100 meter available. Are you looking for a VO? No, instead we TP right back out into the EX. Side swap. Shaylee was able to confirm during the chain shift that that projectile was not going to connect. Trying to contest, but Untold Melody just able to beat every option with that dashing B, just taking that round over Shaylee. Yes, if I want Melody to win, but I have to go for the 1 to 43 channel point on. Don't know about Shaylee. I guess, you know, because we are on the new character, but. Clearly still able to cook with it, running right on up here with the disc. Oh no, but we roll back out. Oh, Shaylee trying to go for it as well. Even if you don't get pressure after roll, if you get mashed on, just switching the corner positioning can be so impactful. Now positioning on the screen puts you right at range for the pillar, and we get a full pickup on it as well. Computer for Shaylee, set the disc. Oh. Maybe a little bit late on it, waiting to bait out a VO, but nothing found from Melody here. Hopefully people have been grid thrusting the increased wheel a lot from Kuan tonight, but opened up there, blasting through Untold Melody through that projectile. Yeah, you tried to set the wheel, but stopped in your tracks. Breaks on this one, stuck up against the wall, but no, we slide right on out, EX Disc. Eyes it up here, game number one. Final cruise. Oh, stuff, but Untold Melody can at least rely on this meter advantage at the start. Hardy putting in work, closing that distance, getting the throw, getting the tech as well, but luckily the disco ball does go away even on tech, so Shaylee not having to deal with that projectile. Go, and that finds your way back out. That's a lot of grid for Melody as well. Going for the Roomba mix here. Waiting we and crowd waiting. Crowd shield CS. Roomba slowly approaching your position. There we go. Oh, that pass. Sharks in the water, but we know how to swim. Knows how to escape the corner here. Shaylee just cashing out on corner carry. 
Doing that nice 4k Kuon, very oh. high damage. Is that a roll for roll? Oh no, it was roll and then TP, but Shaylee has another hit here. 200 meter, next hit. Either side should be able to kill. Roomba mix again, that shadow does kind of pop up with the spikes, putting excellent mix coming for it. Again, the re-stand into the overhead, devious mix there for Untold Melody. Nefarious work for sure. Game number one, two 50-50s in a row. The Roomba is so evil, right? A lot of these 50-50 setups, they're just so much visual noise. That you're like, all right, well, I'm guessing for my life, do I stand or do I crouch? Either way, game number one to Melody. Game number two, let's see if you can seal it out. Tough stuff here. Shaylee trying to navigate kind of like this projectile war that's been going on with Untold Melody, but just kind of using the teleports especially as well as the aerostall to stay above the needle, but it does not mean that needle is not a good option. Shaylee finding the first hit off of 3k off of a projectile. Pretty good damage, you know, I don't think we're gonna complain off of that one for sure. A counter hit off of the pillar too. Little drop here, able to get the mix afterwards going low. Another drop in the corner here. The first one we could have called the reset, but I feel like we're leaving a little bit of damage on the table. Melody finds her way back out. Drops the Roomba. Oh, trade with the... Stuck in the animation for so long, still getting caught up on the second and third spikes, but it's all good. We still find our way back out of the corner. Shaylee gets caught up on the spike. Teleport from behind you, able to beat that uh, needle at the round start. So we'll pick up into the disc once again. 200 meter for Shaylee as well. Yeah, we just spend it for the disc. Morpal refund as well gives us the 25 back. Yeah, a lot of these 3Ds on the uh, disc setups. I imagine you have to do a manual delay to really call it out and risk giving up your pressure. Shaylee, it's caught out. Really suffer here. Rupa Mix is available. Going for it. Dating kind of like a throw tech there. Actually spaced out too much for the standing overhead to connect. Shaylee going to really take this to the bank. CBO available. Going for the EX. One more mix. There we go. Throw tech. Swing the grid. Yeah, but you're so far away. You're fine just going for shields. Trying to seal out the cycle. Secure the CS. Sees the red mist. And Shaylee ties it back up here. Game apiece here. Our losers quarters. Really, yeah, perfect use of the chain shift there. Seeing the red mist, knowing that Melody is committed to an action, and just hitting that easy anti-air button, getting that final hit to finish the match. Alrighty, one apiece. And we're over here in the loser's side, right? This next game is fighting for your tournament life. Looking at that loser semis, playing it a little slower here, right? You know, we can feel the fear. Oh. This is a do or die situation and that's got to feel terrible for Shaylee. Going to this final game and grid break is going to give up so much pressure, guaranteeing the cycle for untold men. Guaranteeing this advantage, can't even shield to try and escape this pressure. Right, send the orb once again, Roomba keeping you locked down. Lots of shields to try and steal the cycle. Doesn't matter. There's so much time left in it, and Melody still finds the hit. Roomba coming back. Look at the shadow. Oh, my God. Roomba the Hedgehog pulling up. All right, you have CS, but you barely have any health to your name. Like, what are you supposed to do with one screen freeze? And some meter behind it, too. Just a little chip there. Going sliding in. Taking the opportunity. And walk up, spend the CS, BFK, but it's all good. Flash kick, not going to even out the HP. Melody on set point. Yeah, no proper reversal, but able to low crush at least go over that slide. Finish off that round against Shaylee. Oh, we're sliding in. Big read there in the neutral. Almost like a little stun dipper uh, meter spent there. Shaylee just sneaking in. 
Stunned for RC is when you slide into CS, I guess. Oh my god, we got the pillar, we got the cycle, we got all the grit in the world. Trying to fight on through, we still got a hundred more meter for Melody. Try and seal this out, and here. Help! Straight into the EX disc, make sure we don't drop the confirm. Now it's final game, final round, fighting for loser semis. Oh ho! Finds the whiff, tries to dash in for the throw, but we're seeing the classic Hilda Veil off there. Get off of me, and now able to spend this bar on Roomba or on that pressure reason. There you go, counter hit off the needle, still finds the pickup off it too. Dude, the double pillar route is kind of clean. I'm not gonna lie to you, I know Kuan haters will disagree. <laughs> oh no, again, the 3D right on through the disco key. A little whiff there, but a bold BDP there from Shaylee could have definitely closed the life deficit if that had been blocked. All right, goes to the empty low. Melody able to react in time. Oh, good. Celestial building up the grid as we go. Yes, there we go. Celestial for Melody. Getting all these the refund. All this meter. Dead, but I'm scared. The Roomba is rapidly approaching the position. Deep Sea Diver, the Roomba coming again. Luckily, blown away by the BDP. These high-risk reversal options have been paying off for Shaylee. Opened up here. Clean. A flash kick just so fast off of the CS. You had meter behind it for the disc. What is someone doing? What is this character? Is this? Tell this me about this. Pick, bro. Tell me about this V-Tatsu fella. No, we're going to take these guys immediately. Jump projectiles, send out the fireballs. Immediately quadruple the screen, but yeah, we're on the way back down. Set the keys. Now we're going to mash right on through the tadpoles. Grow up. All the fireballs. Just keeping you locked down in the corner. Does find the hit into the AB. Flashing on through, doing flips on him. The tadpole. But we're so far away, right? Like, how are you supposed to actually enforce by drop it? And we do catch the approach, though. Daffy. Guys, up to the corner. A, B, I, W to keep it simple. A little smart ender action here. Takes the first round for Borderlands. Very quick first round here for Borderlands. Really putting Deffy on the back foot here. Maybe the Haka pick is not working out. They succeed, my beloved. Rotate the plus frames. That was like four of that move. Prettiest amount of move. Deffy definitely knows what they like about this character. There we go, punch on through. Not able to punish the 3D. Oh, getting punished. Stuck up in the corner here after the side swap. Throw down the worms. EX parry through is invincible even on recovery, so unable to be punished and gets you out of the corner every time. Very nice option. The kids once again. Aerial grab. Oh, yeah, a little drop there. Puts Deppy back out to the mid screen. 100 meter for Borderlands, though, so we have the reversal opportunity. You definitely do not want Borderlands to get the cycle here, and you definitely want Borderlands to kill you. And Deffy will expire this first mm -hmm. game on the Akka. Will we see a character swap? Chomping. No! No, no, God. Okay, so dead, we're not. Did you see any shields from Deffy that round? Asking for a friend. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember, right? Did we see any assaults from Deffy in that previous uh, round? I don't think so, right? We saw like jump forward J6E. There's some theorizing in the chat room. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep an Maybe eye out a, here heading into game number two. A challenge Akka, you're only allowed to use certain buttons. Yeah, right? All right, heading on into it. Catching up the ground right now, a little micro focus, but not enough to take the cycle. Plus frames on the arms, waiting out the DP, nothing to be found. A little staggers there. I love Merkava's backdash, just get out of there. Dash on through, two-way staggers. 
threatening, not able to throw the green shield there. That would have been a huge quick break. And Cycle going away of Borderlands, but the hit goes to Deffy. Down, set up the worms here, toss to the corner, and Borderlands gonna keep the cycle. Perry does not connect with anything. God, the reflector going to waste, stuck up in the corner right by the CEO pool. What is a man to do? Escape with the J6C, that's what we do. Get me out of here. Excellent corner swap there. Can't find the ender, and the stand tech for Borderlands going to kill Deffy there. You know, there, there's a D in Defiant, but there might not be a D in the Keybind. So I'm not going to lie to you, but still, we got Neutral Drop J16 to find the opening here. I wonder if that was a throw with coming out from Borderlands. Either way, and then the Tatsu run up for the throw. We'll count it. It's throw macro. Yes. Right, pressure up against the wall here. Spaced out Fireball for some more plus frames. Definitely with all the hide knowledge, Deffy definitely knows how to play this kind of stagger pressure in the corner. Use that excellent backdash to create whiffs. That's classic hide stuff. Yep, knocking on the door with the 5A staggers. Ooh, caught it with the 5C, but nothing found off it. Just committed to the rebeat. Barely any help for Borderlands here. Deffy knows you're afraid. Oh, finding the low hit finally. Perhaps a tech there from Borderlands. Yeah, yeah, real, real J6C fan. Neutral, the Chin Buster knocking Borderlands into the air. Gonna get an excellent combo here unless we drop. But it's a reset, folks. We're all fine. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's, it's another reset, folks. Don't worry about it. We took to the ground to catch out the air. So smile. Ooh. Overhead blocked and overhead punished. Borderlands able to get the side swap as well. Well positioned, getting the worms for Oki. Go, <laughs> just see. Once again, just jumps our way on in. We haven't seen a lot of, you know, attempts to try an anti-air. I can imagine it's, uh, it's scary. Changes up the aerial trajectory a little bit as well. Sprains. Yeah, we're scared to enforce that, right? We're a little afraid of the DP. Oh, yeah. Able to get under, but the dive kick contesting it too well. Borderlands able to get to the ground. First. We did whiff fireball into dive kick. Borderlands kind of nasty with it. Diagonal grab is going to bring you all the way over to the corner, too. That extension was a little bit longer than I expected. I'm not going to lie to you. Set the tide pulls, but the kids are going to get knocked out with the DPs. Oh, they just wanted to get into the pool. Unfortunately, it's a no swim right now. Late night on the Uni 2. Oh no, caught out with EX Fireballs. That, that felt like quite a long game. Deffy. And I was thinking about it before, you know. Akka plays quite a bit in both the, uh, in the offense like high, which Deffy has a ton of experience with. Known for being a high main in the career. There we go, pick up into the throw. When someone told me that this throw does more damage when you mash, I thought they were like just messing with me. I did not realize that it was true. <laughs> yeah, but it's for Kava's little little gimmick, both for his normal throw and for the Yep. Ooh. Full pressure off of the tadpoles. The first reflector didn't get you too much, so we'll just do it again. Going in with the EX cycle, gonna be close here at the end. Never mind Deffy pulling ahead as well as losing all the grid from the chain shift. The team that for Deffy opened up here, getting that 10% damage bonus from Bo Yeah, these stack of two ways are doing a lot for Deffy right now. I wonder what we're catching up from Borderlands, right? Because we're not seeing the counter. I'm at oh the Lord, what's going on over there? Deffy led the VO rock. How did you I guess you swapped out your D bind for the VO bind. That's that's all I can imagine right now. So not able to change it, but it's all good. Chop it on through. I, I'm a little perplexed by that VO. Let me give the reasons. Number one, life advantage. Definitely did not need the bonus damage to try and kill. Second of off, 
that's the meter you need for the next one. Like, if you're betting on a reversal, you do have uh, uh, the Beast uh, Flash Kick as a number. But, yeah. end of the day, Deffy's a much better player than that. So, kind of digging with that VO to try and finish this off. Riverland's really far ahead. Oof. Oh, BDP. But if anyone's able to win punish it from full screen, it's going to be Merkava, right? Big healthy coming out from Borderland. That back run is so ugly, affectionate. There we go, dive kick. He's gonna find the two way from Defiant here. Oh, oh, nice little dash under there, making sure the assault button can't connect. And we've seen that RPS before when Borderlands is above, kind of threatening that dive kick, threatening landing with a button. And Deffy has to try and RPS him. So fireball, mash on through though. Tried to catch the redash, but nothing found. CS available for Defiant. Yeah, we, we got a lot of grid for Borderlands here, right? But it's still a decent while until we get the cycle back up. Takes a couple throws in the meanwhile for it. We'll roll out using that 3D. You do need a D button to do that. Borderlands need a little roll out. She's so far back into the corner off of the uh, fireball. Run up for the chomp. Keep it clean. There we go. Borderlands puts the second game on the board. If I <laughs> Effie? <laughs> no debound. It's just Effie. No extra money in the pot until Balbazar pulled up with a $20 contribution to the match arena. Thank you so much for the generosity. Thank you for helping us out. The match arena does go directly to our players. Now, Borderlands, you know, at advantage here. Trying to take it over Def Defiant. Get that guaranteed money. Get me in the pot. All right, Fireball takes these guys, sending a Fireball of their own. Oh my god, the flight just goes right on over the orb. No pondering here. We're back up against the wall. And water is crazy. All right, Epi makes their way back out here. Back throw. J6C just goes right on over. Chain shift tries to toss back. Big grid advantage on the side of Borderlands now. Oh, definitely able to steal it back with that forward momentum, with that hit, playing that system so well. Dash into the B Tatsu, catches up the back dash. Oh, fade away J6C for the counter hit, too. Yeah, and the grip here into the CVO into the infinite word three buttons three buttons keep it simple excellent there from Duffy. three buttons five letters and now we're one round up defiant looking to try and tie it back uh, definitely a lot more aggressive thank you very much crack 2122 for the hundred dollar contribution much appreciated giving these players in the winners final so much to try and fight for she used to be taught to but not able to find the escape with a jump back a backdash caught there by the reversal. Oh, but a huge whip there punished by Deffy. This whiff punish was brought to you by Cracker2112. Ooh, no. Cracking open the defense here off of the projectile, or the uh, parry, rather. It's going to go right on through the shield. Nothing found. Borderlands has you up against the wall, but still, one touch. Defiant's able to find any two-way back on out. Swap it back up. Oh, no! Trade there! Both players on last hit situation. The Borderlands too defensive. Defy capitalizing with that throw. Effie ties it back up, heading on into game number five. We're going the distance here, Deadward. Oh my gosh. Well, here we go. Akka the whole way through game five coming up, folks. Dog, I can't. But this Defiant right player out. is too unique. Their soul is too vast. Why would they do this? little extra time on the loading screen you know it gives these players more time to breathe i feel like you <laughs> two understood what was going on they're like all right this is a little too much high octane action you guys gotta relax but game number five the nerves are running high you want your guaranteed ticket into the grand finals winner's side 
There we go. Finds a shield, but you're all the way across the screen, so there's really no way for you to find All right, again with the fadeaway JC. Drop the worm and just dash away. Get away from it. Ooh, a little glide mix up there with the worm. There we go. CS as well to bring you back down to earth with the dive kick. Waiting for that 100 meter to come back up. But in the meanwhile, Deffy runs up in the back row. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Leading in there, Deffy finding the hip of Veiloff will strip the Vorpal as well, but that meter spends super early. EX here for Deffy, spending the cash, the whole bankroll. Will J6 do we make it 18? Yep, just jump right on through. I got the stagger two ways catching you on every single time, but Deffy really didn't think you'd get opened up by it again, right? Drop there, but it's all good. We got the throw. Feeling the, the, you know, the stress there, the danger. This is high stakes here. One game away from taking it over Deffy. Relying on that, finding all these big risks from Borderlands. That whiff, or sorry, that shimmy going to do a ton of damage here. Ooh. Ooh, tapped on the dome with the J6C, avoided it with the backdash shimmy, but didn't kill off the VO. Effie is playing with his food right now. Finish the meal though, finish the job. One more meter for any EX cancels, you gotta kill. You don't get paid until the contract is finished here. Deffy the one hit away, threatening Celestial right now. Maybe Borderlands will overextend. Maybe Borderlands will extend just as much as they need to, finding this hit going into Oki. Yo, no shields to be found. We have the chain shift, but still doesn't escape the throw back out to the mid screen. Corner pressure here for Borderlands, but it's one touch, one sweep for Deffy. Moving on to Grand Finals, winner's side. Coming three. through Shaley versus Spoikman. Thank you for the $22 contribution. We're getting right into this. Evening out the prize pool with the 22. Thank you very much, Balthazar, as we head into game number one. We're just going to hop on through with the dash of assault. Shaley off to the races here, getting this excellent Kulon Oki off the ender. Never mind, no meter to go into EX disc, which means no increased disc. Yeah, CS available, trying to hold on to the grid. Cycle will go the way of sport. Aw, oh, CS6B, you had the whole screen freeze to react, but you know that's how it goes. Back, tries to catch out. I wonder if B or A flash kick still would have caught there, right? Because there's a lot of range on it for sure. Oh, yeah. B flash kick covers so much distance. But now, you know, Shaylee just content to sit on the meter advantage. Breton with the throw doing a grip. Ooh. Yeah, caught out of the EX pillar there. Super flash not going to save you. Send out the persona all the way across the screen. Run up with a 6B. But even with all the screen noise, you're not going to get Shaylee with it twice. Shaylee had a feel in there. I, I think he knew that the overhead was going to be the attempt. Just had a vibe. In his bones, bro. We baited out the cross up and then went empty low. Me personally, I'm not blocking either of the above. All right, first cycle, Spoinkman advantage, but a big shield from Shaylee will win Shaylee. Eight check matchup. This is a nine to five check matchup, yeah. <laughs> All right, slide CS into the instant float. Yeah, Pushing Spoikman. Oh, punish there! Yeah, there we go off the second swipe on the Persona. Just a little bit too close for comfort. Spoikman all the way over to the other side. Spend the 100. Still not enough off the EX disc. Now it's throw range. Guess for game. More hit. Anything could do. It. Nice block on the fuzzy there. Oh my god, the slashes into the steer. Ender brings us all the way over to the corner. And that throw is going to put us in final touch territory. Spoikman just needs two more hit. 
Oh, Persona 3D <gasps> gets bought out. No, active frames, but no confirm. I don't even think Spoink Man thought that that would catch. There we go. Shaylee seals out the first game just barely with the 2A. What a crazy scramble there to finish it off. And so tough that this is first to two right now. That could be the deciding factor of this match. Yeah, not having that extra game insurance to, you know, have these scramble situations even themselves out as far as variation goes over time. Definitely a heartbreaker for Spoinkman, so you gotta lock in to try and bring it back. Too tough here. Into it. What an unfortunate ending there, but Spoinkman's gotta keep the mental going. This is first to two. You gotta be iron bad. Jump on through, ended up crossing up though, so corner for it. CS available. Whoa. Little drop there. Damn. Oh, yeah, you backdashed through the thrust, but you had CS behind it to catch any attempt afterwards. I think we were still in the animation for it too, so smart from Spike Man. Very passive round start. Run for play. Ooh. Right outside range. Off the counter hit with the flurry of blows, but still Shaylee finds the 2A. Off to the races here and into the corner, but a big drop there. Can't get the Oki, but luckily we can pick up off the needle here. Trying to go coast to coast will not make it. Center screen Oki is not going to be as nice as one can roll down. There we go. Saw the green shield immediately, canceling into the grid thrust. So, you know, has an opportunity to spend the 100 meter and not get grid broken. I agree. Still, though. Here we are. Set point for Shaylee. Right, not the best, but you're not feeling too bad as point fan here. Still just needs one more round to try and tie it up. You come in with a big meter advantage, but Shaylee able to find the first blood. Blood on through. The big delay. So surely he goes empty low here, right? Oh my god, just whipping two shields right out of range. Shaylee! What great counterplay there. Spoinkman could tell that B Flash with pick was coming there. Such an obvious, such a good answer. And able to navigate it. Super smart to know that situation. Yeah, we got 200 meter behind it as well. Next hit should be able to kill, but swings the grid, tries to go for the AMK, but away from your health bar is where Spoinkman's trying to take you the IW straight on into it for the kill. We are tied up. 1-1. One, one. Super close here. The battle of the S's. We are going into a final game. And again, if it wasn't for that disastrous drop, that scramble situation, Spoink Man would already be going to losers finals right now. Here we go. That is how the dice have fallen. Overhead blocked here by Shaylee. There you go. Empty assault for the 2L. <gasps> That was out of range. I can't believe it, bro. Even had time to run up with a whip punish throw. Ooh, 6B from half screen. A uh, a little ambitious there. Didn't quite dash in as far as you needed to on point fans then. Yeah, perhaps a micro dash 5B just trying to cover that extra space. Little miss inputs there are going to cost you. All right, send the persona. The air to ground missile all the way across the screen. Asterisk. Cycle going the way of Spoink Man. CSDP classic. Breaking all the 6B rock. Okay, we are, but Shaylee was on the same page too. That ball though, not gonna get tapped with the overhead just yet. Send out the pillars. Send out the needle. TP back out. Excellent shield there. The active defense from Spoink Man. And again, that rising persona. Persona stonks up, Spoinkman stonks up. One more round away from sending Shaylee out at number four. He's gonna whip right on over with the float. Not gonna open up Spoinkman though. Juan does pay for not opening someone up like you were talking about. That force function, that float giving grid blocks away, allowing Spoinkman to get Celestial here. Go. We slide on through, pick up with the disc. Lots of good here for Shaylee, trying to keep this combo going as long as possible to seal out the CS. 
Orb will obtain. No stand shield. The jump back shield, though. Awkward little scramble afterwards. Point Man finds the hit. Yeah, that jump back shield could be an OS covering those extra defensive options. Shaley realizing he said just keep the meter, spend it as soon as possible. Go guard thrust. 6B gets B, a flash kick. We're talking about how many times we had seen that 6B from Spoink Man. Shaley reacting now with the B flash kick. Right on through, tried to go for cross up Persona. Caught on it. GameStop trade takes a round here for Shaley. Final game, final round, looking at that loser's finals and immediately sending out the needle in the, uh, in the panic. The disastrous trade there. Got a Celestial available for Shaylee. Oh, it takes this, guys. It goes right back down. Getting that 20% damage bonus from Celestial. 4.5. Yeah, Shaylee really has not caught out any of the rules through the disco key, but is so fine with taking the pressure when we don't show the 3D. I think he's fine with it, but a little less fine being cornered once again. Need Persona call the 3D back on out. Here's Boink Man gonna get Celestial a little bit too many float resets Whoa. there. <gasps> no. Alright, we're chilling, blocking it out, waiting for the 100 meters. Send the Persona call, knows you're waiting for it too. Finds the kick straight to the jaw. Shaylee, not gonna build up 200 just yet, but you have CS behind it as well. I don't know if you have the routes for it. Yeah, can't see the Loki where you find it. <gasps> Gar thrust! Baited there, Shaylee has been paying attention, has seen how many times I've shown that defensive option of I'm not holding increased disc, don't make me block this, I'm guard thrusting your float is possible and perhaps imminent here. Let's see it. Playing so hot tonight, so confident on the Kuan after switching. But Borderlands, just spending so much time on the winner's side, able to take that advantage, but how did they come to bite them? Shaylee's looking super hot right now. There we go, going to the slide. Nice little pickup for the corner as well. Lots of time in the cycle. We still have CS available, but I wonder if we're just going to save it to have that threat on the defense, right? Make sure that Shaylee has some respect and tries to find the leaderless way to escape. Yeah. Cycle still going to go on the side of Shaylee. Borderlands unable to use it there. Not going to get any of that meter, but also was a little bit weaker because Markava doesn't have an invincible option until they have a hundred. It's not super powerful to have chain shift on the Yeah, you get the screen freeze. What are you supposed to do? But finally finds an opportunity to get back on out. And now we have the CS to get a little bit more corner carry off it as well, right? Don't test the meter for the IW, but still a decent amount of health to try and make your way through on Shaylee then. Oh, yeah. I've infinite worth taking a chunk there. Chain shift allowing for combo off a very quick hit, hit confirm which would not have done so much damage Ooh. there you go pot on the stomps once again borderlands not gonna be able to kill off this but much on either side just barely out of door range on shaley's end look at the time right now shaley may be able to block this out but gonna be so hard with the oki b <laughs> flash kick that is all I, I like that you said we could block it out, and Shaylee said, hell no, bro. 20 <laughs> seconds in the corner, I'm good. Sends the B flash kick and is able to put the round up, but you know, it, it was possible. Immediate float to the low. Borderlands not going to get opened up by that. And Borderlands able to get these really nice extensions after the site. You know, that active defense using the shields as well. You know, just able to create these situations you wouldn't get otherwise. Celestial for Shaylee. Lots of meter just waiting in the bank. But again, right, we talk about the Celestial decision making. Just holding on to the grid, making sure that, all right, if you want to get this cycle, you got to gamble your life on some throws, assaults, and some real risky shields. But still, Borderlands fights back. Get up here, blasting off, working, covering the ground. Oops. Oops. For the Assault JC catches you out, maybe trying to go for a dash up low poke, tying it up here in game number one. Shaylee with a pretty hefty beater advantage here though. 
Able to control the pace of the neutral right now with the needle and the pillar. He wants to try and find a way to kill this one, but finds the grid break instead. A ton of damage coming out for Shaylee, as well as the cycle win. Grid break is rough here. I wonder what we were stand shielding for. Maybe looking for a run up float, but either way. Here we go. Got the cycle for Shaylee. CS. Oh no, but really any way to get the grid back here. Yes, available for Borderlands. Might be looking for an extension to mid screen to push you over to the corner. No, just set the kids. Oh no! Again, these B flash kicks doing so much for Shaylee. Damn. I really like that press from Borderlands. Not only does it create a stop sign in the neutral, but it also is your fastest press controlling that space, but Shaylee not dead yet. Where was the ender from Borderlands? Yeah, not quite sealing out the job. No payment until the contract is finished. Like he said, 2C after the CS to try and escape. So the EX disc waiting for a match here and does find it from Borderlands. Shaylee. Still 100 meter down. I don't think you're able to kill even with the EX disc, but now it's guess we're game off the throw. What? Whoa! Oh, back down to earth with a card thrust. One needle away for both of these players. What's it gonna be? Oh no! Flying on through Merkava. Sticks the landing here for game number one against Shaylee. The judges give that landing a 10 out of 10. Orderland's going to tie it up a game apiece between these two. Yeah, a little bit of a delay on the loading here. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that Kuan, after the loss, had like a kneeling animation. <laughs> like Vegeta. Bro. I kneel. Alrighty, heading back on into a game number two here of your losers finals. Why did I think this was a game of pee? You know, the games have been so back and forth that I think it's easy to be like, oh, we're pretty deep into the set. No, it's only been one game. I feel like it's been like that for the past few sets, right? We're really taking it the distance here, but Bailey trying to tie it back up, runs up for the throw. Finding the low on the float there, taking us quarter to quarter and winning the cycle, but no, the corner shield anti-air allowing the punish from Corialis, but the drop. Oh, nice. I like the corpse dash to put you right into the uh, disc afterwards. Trying to throw off it, though. We are going to find the back throw to put the round on the board. Yep, a guaranteed punish off that invincible reversal. Oh, 5A, all good down. Wind it out. Yeah, cut out with the AB all the way across the screen. We were talking about it in the chat earlier, right? Just gets you so much distance off of these far confirmed. The slide starter here. Meter means you're able to confirm. And now just trying to waste time, get the cycle back. Well, stare down there. Oh, so close. Yeah, Shaylee able to block it out, secure the cycle, CS available. Oh my god, we're slipping and sliding on through. Bro, is Yuri on ice? <gasps> oh, oh. With shield there was trying to use it to anti-air, cycle going the way of Shaylee. Rare footage of A flash kick losing. Yeah, right? Little float. Start drawing with the kids, but nothing found. Yes, available for Shaylee. So we're running all the way to the other side of the screen. He said, I want nothing to do with that. So much grid on your way, but one touch from Shaylee should be able to kill with 100. Catches out the empty land with 5A. Borderlands, okay. A bold mash there to check the glide. Borderlands kind of feeling that Shaylee was going to get tricky with the mix up. So instead, just choosing to check with the button. Feel overhead, keeping it simple here. We got mashed out the one time, so we're like, okay, let's let's reestablish the layer one a little bit here. Staggers caught out with the T 
TP on the other side. It's all good. Do we have the side swap routes? I wonder if TP was actually supposed to hit on the other side, but all good. You know, just gonna get 4k regardless. Oh. Even Shaylee, you should never let this man have chain shift. The slide chain shift has been criminal here. Yeah, exactly. It's scary. it's scary when you have the chain shift available. It's scary when you got B flash kick in kill range. And now we're one game apiece here in losers finals. I can't. Here we go. Finally, a game apiece. The prophecy has been. Achieved. Yeah, earlier you were just looking into the future a little bit. You you spoiled yeah. the scripts because you were writing it, but you were like, oh, I can't tell these mortals what, you know, is going on in the near future. It's all good. I, I watched it kind Bridge. of recently, and I, I'm like that guy. I'm oh, that true? Cool white boy. I can see the future. <laughs> That's a crazy descriptor. I'm not going to lie to you. But <laughs> it's a game number three. Trying to charge up, staring at the grid, but you're not looking at the full screen dash in the grid break, bro. Yep. Off to the races here, a huge just compounding these advantages right now in the corner. Chain shift, meter, grid break, so much now for Shaylee, but the drop was not accounted for. Uh, nothing to be said, caught out with a counter hit dash. Fourth corner to corner, check the mix up right now. Take to the sky. Goes low. Little damage set the kids. Little refund off the Vorpal. Yeah, we left a little bit of meter on the table, but we just wanted to make sure we didn't drop the confirm. Don't worry about the extra meter, just seal out the round. Borderlands kind of wising up to how liberal Shaylee is with the B flash kick. It's giving you a little bit of space to encourage you to press and Shaylee does. Right, so PX disc, double overhead. Again, keeping it simple, right? We're still thinking about that one time we got mashed out from the float. Speaking of, Borderlands trying to mash on out. Gets counter hit for your troubles. 100 meter behind it, Shaylee should be able to seal this out. Perfect here for Shaylee, and yeah, like you were saying, both of these players are so defensively conditioned at this point. They both kind of have a read as to what options the other likes to do, and what they can do to try and get that response. Go again, just going for the simple assault jump in. No empty low shenanigans here, keep it simple. Load overhead, gets 3 d out, but we got the TP. Oh my god, what side do you want? Won't be able to get Celestial at least, but the cycle will go to Borderlands. Both keeping the lock down, just content to hold on to the down back. All reactable overheads in the world. Oh no, but reacting to the whiff flash kick. Big bubble on the screen telling you it's your time to punish. All right, infinite worth spent, 244 bar, even after spending a full stick. And Shaylee going to be put six feet under here, now going into potentially the final game. All righty, Borderlands. And I mean, off of that first round, right, that we just saw, it seemed like Shaylee was locked in able to keep the pressure tight, but Borderlands still finding good opportunities to try and mash out, even when there's five different things you're looking for off the float. The stagger pressure from Shaylee has been looking so good. But, all right, game number four. Can Borderlands secure their ticket into the grand finals run back? We got to see it. Shaylee, of course, still looking for revenge here, trying to get it back after Borderlands sent them to losers. Your big starter now for Shaylee. Here we go, float on through, delay JC. Oh no! Big drop and even had the smoke screen there. It was hard to tell the Borderlands had gotten out. Yes, for all the meter in the world. Just holding down back here. On out. Hot on the 
toes TP for the low. Shaylee, another round of the board here. Lots of meter on both sides, right? So not going into it with any real disadvantage. No. Definitely, yeah, the cycle win is going to be much more in here. You need to get a big shield. Taking a big lead now for Borderlands. Celestial gained. Now this is one of these situations you already have 200 bar. Popping CS is not doing much for you. Maybe look to spend, look to maintain it, get another Celestial here. Ooh, run up for the assault. No throw attack could be found from Shaylee, but says, all right, if you're not going to throw attack, I'm just going to run up for the throw. Also going to drop the combo in the corner here, but that's a, it was okay until we got counter hit slid. Oh, Shaylee has shown so many deep run throws, and Borderlands finally wising up to it, showing the dive kick. Okay, a little, uh, you know, lobby CS here. I get it. <laughs> giving the players an opportunity to reassess the situation. Flight caught out of the skies here with the needle full confirmed. Oh, important drop here. Spending the bar. Shaylee going to maintain the cycle, though not spending just to keep that grid advantage. But here comes the slider. The slider in question. The throw in question. Send out the swords. You got to try and stay alive here. You do not want to bring it to a tie game. Do or die here. Look at the clock, though. Shaylee only needs to weather the storm a little bit longer. And the mash to take it. Game, set, and match two apiece. We're going to a final game five, folks. Edward, I swear, Shaylee has to have the stream on in low latency because every time we're like, oh, look at the timer. You got all the time in the world. You can block this out. You got the health advantage. He'll just be like, no, I'm, I'm good. I think I'm just going to throw out the 2C, find the counter hit, and tie it back up on my own terms. Game five. Final chance here. Shaylee looking for revenge. Borderlands trying to get another crack at Defy on the winner side of Grand Final. It all comes down to this. Again, those deep throws. Shaylee has shown that, has grid broken with that, but board, Borderlands is on top of all the, the player kind of strategy. The arms out once again. Another counter hit from Shaylee. Build up the 100. Do we do EX this? And it is set up fairly close up to the corner, but no gold throw to find you here. Stand shield, but just a little out of range of the fireball. What a gambit there to win cycle by Borderlands. Trying to concentrate, forcing Shaylee to come in, only to counter poke, stealing a bunch of the grid blocks. EX cancel. No, Kana with the chomp again, 2A. Round potentially here. Shaylee really has to leverage. Really looking for a cycle to kind of spam that slide like he's been doing. Not looking great. First, CS looking to go the way to Borderlands. We'll get it. Yeah, caught out the two-way stomp. So many times we've been trying to see this interrupt from Borderlands, so Shaylee just taking to the skies with a float to go right on over. Cool it. Double this second float. Second float. Grid be Dan still wins the cycle for it, too. Super well positioning. Increased disc. Oki. Puts you at perfect range for the needle. Shaylee holds on and once again, Deadwood. We've seen it so many times in these past sets. It's final game, final round. This is the final chance here. Shaylee has kind of fought back here. We've been going band for band here, round for round, but it's always feel like Shaylee has been on the back foot, looking for his revenge and now opening us up. Pick up, up again, up against the wall. Yeah, these gold throws really are not working out for Shaylee. Borderlands get caught out doing push ups here. Ooh. 
Oh! Kept it simple with the overhead. Backs up just out of range of the VO. Not gonna be able to kill with no meter behind it, but now you're in throw range against Shaylee in the corner. Danger, danger here will go into the Oki. I'd expect you getting the worms out, but they're just gonna get obliterated by the aerial laser. Nothing yep. but dust. Gone reduced to atoms, but you can say the same thing about Borderlands. This health bar right now, any touch should be able to take it. Slide right in your face, no cancel. Ooh. There we go, we find the mash on out. Shaylee seals his ticket into the Grand Finals, loser's side over Borderlands, but played his absolute heart out this evening. I'll believe it, here we go, folks. TNS getting to into it with Grand Finals. Deffy versus Shaylee, here we go. The Mayan character really is a liar on Twitter. Random select main be damn pull it up. Finds the first hit with the phone on, but not able to confirm too well into it. Shaylee fights right on back. Up here, take it to the corner. Grease the disc for the excellent oak. Going empty on the float. Oh, the float overhead, no confirm. Yeah, we bled a lot of grid off of a lot of blocks in the corner, so Shaylee just uh, holding on to the down back, saying, all right, let me secure this cycle. I have so much health to try and bring it back, so I don't want to take a risk without the CS behind it. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Square footage of flash kick missing. That was... If that was intentional from Deffy, that was such a perfect trap. You know that when Shaylee sees Red Myth there, is feeling super emboldened to just hit that flash kick, but you're still spaced out there. No hurt box on that norm. Deffy laying the perfect trap. Combo keeps you locked down in the corner, tries to slide back on Alpha. We are swinging once again 200 meter to both of their games. Ender here, tack on the EX for a little bonus damage, and Shaylee just Ooh. cannot be stopped, folks. All the way across the sky, stand block, stand shield on it. Excellent contest there. Shield to make it less advantageous, just going straight into needle after. Nothing found off of the 3D. CBO, three buttons, three buttons. Easy peasy. Keep it clean. Nice stuff there. And at low enough of a life, total infinite work. EX is available and will take it this round against Shaylee. But now Deffy with no meter. Taste the death. What a world. Tied up on the rounds here. But yeah, Shaylee moving in with 200 meter. Going into round number three. How are we going to try and use it, though? A lot of times we're using it for the confirm to see disc to get that disc set up. But got to find that first hit first. And Defiance swipes on through. Big whiff punish there for Defiance. Catching Shaylee pressing, but this drop is disastrous. Shaylee is sitting on so much damage in that bar. Jump right on through, yeah, cross under. Got out with the guys, there we go. Counter hit too, so we move on through. And we finish our food here. The world may never know. A big drop there from Deffy. Yeah, I just had to bring them back down to the ground, look for an EX, but it's all good. Still a lot of health to work with here. Slide pick up. Oh, quick tech there. Yeah, the down back to try and bait out the DP, but all good. We had delay BFK. Red Fist, but nothing you can do about it with no 100 meter to your name. <gasps> Overhead blocked, but I believe that's punish. Oh, wake up DP from Deffy. We saw it so many times from Shaylee, really relying on those instructions. Deffy showing it themselves. Yeah, we saw the CS before where Defiant was like, all right, I got 40 meter. Like, I see this red miss, but I just got to hold that, right? There's nothing I can do. But, you know, got some meter for the next interaction, seals out the cycle, and able to seal it out. Game number two, let's see it. Let's get into it. The Photon pick looking out here against Shaylee. Again, the, the random select is strong with this one. 
able to pick up almost anyone in the whole cast and take them in to torque. There we go, send the disc. That cycle for Deffy, but again, right, like we're saying, you don't have the meter for the actual reverse. Didn't even need it, I guess. Looking for the natural gas, able to escape. Able to scramble our way out, unable to get the side swap. Stand shield on the projectile. Caught it with the geyser once again. Into the install here. These projectiles are all going to be chipping for additional damage. Right. Right. That's out of a needle. No, it's the disc, but... Roll through and punish. Perfect option from Deffy. And again! Did have to spend 100 meter for the screen freeze, but happy to take that round there. Devi playing super clean. Yeah, didn't get to use any of the buffs of the install, but the nice part is the screen freeze for the 100 meter, right? Even if you don't have the CS available, lets you assess the situation. Speaking of the CS, has so much grid that even after the hit, we're still able to seal out Celestial. Oh, luckily not grid broken. Yeah, gonna spend it right now, but no bar to reversal getting caught. Yep, charge up, get the grid back. Oh my god, already swung so hard just off of two shields. Excellent awareness there from Shaylee. Could have gotten the grid break with the throw, but you can't cancel green shield into guard thrust. Deffy going for that, so Shaylee not only taking the round, but also a hundred of Deffy's bar. Big starter here. Deffy going on the aggressive. You thought Bonham was a zoner. True, but she's still going to run you back down into the corner. Bait out the B flash kick as well. Knows exactly where Shaylee is trying to mash on the defense. In the corner once again. Deffy putting in work here. Aiming to go up 2-0 now. I like to see us in reaction to the 3D. Tries to keep you locked out, but even off of the install, Shaylee still finds the hit back out. 1 HP to your name, but 200 meter for the C disc extension. Gonna get the increased disc rolled through with the creeping edge by Deffy. Yeah, the extended invincibility not able to catch you with the overhead afterwards. Using the Celestial here, tons of bar. Still bar in the tank to leverage these plus frames, allow Deffy to close the distance, get past needle range, and give Shaylee Celestial tons of bar available. Swipe on through, just barely built up the 100. Any reversal could do it. No, we're just gonna let the guard thrust rock. A little safer. Guard thrust. Ooh. Oh no! Swipe on through. Send the earthquake with the earth shake. Defiant moving mountains with 2-0 right now over Shaylee. One more game away. This is too much, folks. How could Deffy do it? How could Deffy do this? Literally moving mountains right now. How do you play these many characters? That's what I'm saying, you know? Character strength aside, right? Being strong at multiple characters in the tournament setting, you know, is something uh, to be admired as we head to game number three. Can, 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 can Deffy stop winning so much? I don't know. I think Shaylee is probably asking the same question here and, you know, off to a good start trying to answer it with the run-up throw. You can't win TNS and a free trip to a regional in the same game. That should be illegal. I don't know. It's trying to double jeopardy right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, double yeah, up here. Flash kick whip there. That has been Shaylee's greatest strength is the willingness to throw out B flash kick in unorthodox spots, as we just saw there, catching the back dash. But it has also been Shaylee's downfall. Drop there, tries to run on over, but, you know, like we like to say, flash kick with a side agnostic. Oh. <laughs> Full screen infinite worth, folks. Just in case you think you didn't have a second uh, you know, that's the first time I've seen the uh, full screen whip on a Roku on the highway. <laughs> The fireball just barely out of range after the backdash from the B flash kick. We've been seeing a lot of baits from that from Defiant, right? Maybe playing into the frustration of Shaylee. Just really trying to escape this corner. Oh, oh excellent 6FF. Doing a ton here for Deffy. 
can't finish it just yet, but looking for the final hit to walk back just to create the space needed. Alright, tournament point for Deffy. Shaylee, one round away from at least putting a game on the board here. There we go. We see a lot of these deep flights coming out from Shaylee, right? Threatening their cross up and then goes all the way over to the other side while you're swapping your guards into the empty low. Big threatening here, but Deffy has been so good at shielding so many hits from this that that grid advantage just piles up on Deffy's side. Yeah. So the grid gets caught out, punished, you see. Shaylee gonna get a ton of bar off of all that grid spent. Fireball whip the geyser right in front. Shaylee takes the opportunity to approach. Finally commits to the crossover. Back dash action. Same space out. Go for the ant here, but Deffy landing a little bit too early there, able to get to the ground for free! MDTP right in your face, goes to the slide, catches you on the back dash, but catches you trying to look for the shield, grid break. Oh, Veil off to get that cycle back, also to strip it. Meter is going to be built, but I don't think it's going to be enough for Deffy to finish it here. Not enough, but it does wait out the VO, which is one less thing to have to worry about! You dropped on the... Is confirmed in the world, but it's okay. We still got install for the enhanced fireballs, just keeping it going with quadruple fireballs from the sky. TK, if four doesn't work, let's make it five on the TP. Defiant is your champion of TNS Uni 2.